I wanted to fly like the bird right out of there. <laughs> it's in Ravi Terman's nature to smile, even in the darkest of times, to find some solace, even in 15 days of isolation in the COVID unit at UC Health University of Colorado Hospital. I, I got so that I had a pillow. One pillow on this side was my mom, and this pillow on this side was my daughter. I would hug it because I was like, I really miss my family. Those exhausting and traumatic days follow her, even now, as she goes about her life virus-free. I've got scars on my body that I see all the time. And so that affects my mind because it makes me go back to that. Something researchers are now noticing is common among those who have survived COVID-19. Sitting in one's closeted room alone, dealing with what's going to happen to me, am I going to be one of the statistics, um, is is very, very frightening for, for people. And Dr. Patricia Westmoreland is a psychiatrist at Health One Behavioral Health and Wellness Center. She's seen deteriorating mental health become an increasing problem in her patients who've had COVID-19. One reason may be the toll of trauma on the brain. The other may be the virus itself. There are a lot of, of, of different factors and unfortunately come together. More research needs to be done, but Ravi is just thankful for the conversation. I feel validated for one thing because I thought, is it just me? Am I crazy? A common thought in a society where mental health has such a stigma. A lot of the people in the African-American community, uh, especially my generation and above, they don't talk about mental health issues. They refuse to talk about it. But that's what needs to be done, she says, as COVID cases continue to rise. You're not alone in this, but you can feel alone. Liz Kodalik, Nine News. There are various Facebook support groups for COVID survivors, and UC Health says psychiatrists are involved in their post-COVID clinic as well. We have all this information on our website, 9news.com.